Hey y'all, it's the Costume Jeweler. We're gonna head into this Salvation Army Family Store in Clearwater, Florida, looking for jewelry and purses to resell on eBay and YouTube. Check out the purses at ebay.com forward slash USR forward slash Costume Jeweler. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss on live buy it now jewelry and purse sales and auctions that I have. I have pop-ups, so hit that notification bell so you don't miss out. Subscribe to my channel and please give a thumbs up for this video. So this is a pretty big store. I'll show you around a little bit. We'll look at little, few different things, but mainly purses and jewelry if they have any, we'll see. Oh my gosh, that's a huge bed. 179. That's a great china cabinet there for 159. Bamboo styled handles. You could definitely make that into something great if you're if you are creative if you are creative me on the other hand I couldn't paint anything if I wanted to I just couldn't never tried it but I'm betting oh she's highfalutin guys look at that she is highfalutin I have not heard that word in a very long time I have so much artwork in my own house. Okay, they guys, look at this crazy picture. Look at that. So you got aliens around palm trees. That's pretty interesting, is it not? I don't sell things like that. But I love art and it makes you wonder. $24. They had this, oh, this came from Okay, that's interesting. It came from Ross. So you're going to see the upside down. But this came from Ross. Huh. Because that looks like somebody... You know what somebody did? They did paint it. So the Ross picture was all of the palm trees. And then someone painted around that their own spin. Their own spin on that Ross picture. So that's very creative. Here's a self-portrait. That mirror self-portrait pencil drawing not sure of the year on that so lots of clothes here shoes whatnots We'll look through these a little bit. That one's broken. So you don't know what you're going to find in this wallet section here. Jessica Simpson. Okay, it's a Velcro strap. I'm not even going to look at that. I still like stopping in this store. I don't always find something in here, but I like to stop and look. Cause you never know. Okay, so I see a cute necklace right now that has, um, seahorses and I'm hoping it's as cute as it looks oh that's interesting let's check that out so guys this is not a necklace it's actually a belt and it's signed on the back and we're gonna try to zoom in and see what it says because I don't know let me zoom in on these right here so you can see them up close so that's a belt so there on the back it says Lily. Looks like it starts with a P. Of 
course on my phone I can't see it well but I'm sure when I look at it on my TV I will so I don't know who that is I'm gonna see if we can zoom in a little bit closer to tell so Lily and I'm not gonna get it just because I cannot tell who it is Not Lily Pulitzer. Not sure. But anyway. Rhinestone belt. Or not rhinestone. Those look like they're acrylic. And there's the chain. So this is a Monet necklace. It's pretty long. You have the tag there. This does not have a designer mark on it. I'm gonna zoom in on that too so you can see it. Well, you can see the details. So white enamel, bib necklace. No designer mark. Look at this though, guys, a Trafari. Let me show you the tag. I'm going to show you up close. Never seen a Trafari like this. There's your tag, but look at these beads. Isn't that something? We close in 30 minutes. So that's really pretty too. And those are heavy. I've never seen a Trafari look like that before. It's Richard Kerr, guys. Shop around. I never know. I'm not the person who puts it all out, so I don't know exactly what's in here. Wait, I like that was like beads. You know, you see those black beads? No, no, no. Look how pretty that is. Now, I've had Richard Kerr before, and I'm getting this one. Look how pretty that Richard Kerr brooch is. Wow. When you take forward. Yes. My forward or your forward? Is yeah. the one? No, next to it. Yes. That's the hardest part sometimes because it's hard to hear too. <laughs> I'll check this one out too. This one is not signed, guys, but look at that. Yeah, wow. Well, why can't these be signed? Okay, guys, there's a beautiful bracelet back there. I guess there is a uh, camp. Okay, guys, look at this one. So I had him pick this one out. It was down here with all this goodness just all mixed in. There's another bracelet back there I want to see. Just never know what you're going to find here. I'm telling you, there's just a lot of great, beautiful jewelry. I don't come in the store too often, but I probably need to start coming in more. It's just awesome. Look at all this up here. Look at all that. So 
So look at this again. Let me zoom in on this. So we are getting that bracelet too. Look at that. Wow. Wow to the wow to the wow. It's not designer sign, but it's unique enough that I'm going to get it. Kind of like in that cameo bracelet there, maybe. Let's see if we can see anything down here that we absolutely cannot live without. So the tiger eye necklace I'm passing on. Down here on the second shelf, this phone really does well on zooming in, the video does, at least for me to see things and hopefully you guys too. So rosary there. But looking at this gold jewelry right here, I wonder if some of these pieces aren't designer signed. Like the bracelet right there. Let me say right there, right there in the center, right there, that and. And then you have this big crystal one right there. Look how pretty that is. So I really want to take a look at the crystal one. Um, there's one right there in the far back. I'm going to put my finger on it in the video. Hold on, where's my finger? Right there. I really want to see that one too. I don't know what kind of stones those are at the very back right there. And I really want to look some, I want to look at their white knots. Or their bric-a-brac. So I don't really see anything else I'd be interested in looking at. I want to try to have time to check out the purses too before we leave. Guys, look at this chain. This is different. It's like pyramids. I'm going to zoom in for you real quick. I'm not going to get it, but I wanted to show you. It's not designer marked and doesn't have to be for me to buy it. I'd prefer it, but it doesn't have to be. But again, that's one of those that I call an unsigned beauty. So we're going to pass on that one. Now this one right here is heavy. Heavy and beautiful. We're gonna get this one too, guys. Look at that. How pretty that is. So it's a bracelet. Closed in 15 minutes. Look how beautiful that is. So we're getting that. We're getting it, getting it, getting it. This is cute. This looks like probably 1960s, maybe. I don't know. Tiger. This is a bracelet, no designer mark, I don't believe. Maybe one right there. Let's try to zoom in real quick because I want to look at the purses and show you guys the purses. I'll have to Google lens this one. It looks like there's a designer mark. So guys, tell me why this gold bracelet is not designer signed. Look how pretty that is. It looks like it's fading to you. It's not. That's just some shadow. This has a safety chain. There is not a designer mark on it, though. And I don't know if I want to get this or not, because I'm not sure if it is a designer piece. But I think I'm going to pass on it just because it's not designer signed. Still pretty, though. And I really want to look at these earrings right here. Look at those.
Oh no, I'll pass on that one. Thank you. Is that a real alligator bag? I don't know. I don't know. It's called Monsac. I've never heard of that brand. Monsac Original. Know nothing about that brand. Don't know if it's real leather or not. Kind of a fancy sounding name, but I don't know, so we're going to pass on it. Let's find us a Okay guys, I know which one this one is. Jack George's, I can tell by looking right here. Jack George's, if you ever see that stitching, not stitching, but the strap. So look guys, Jack George's right there. This looks to be in good condition. Good condition, good condition, good condition. Are we gonna get it? I don't know. Jack George's cross body, we are going to get it. Jack George's runs hundreds of dollars, guys. Look at that. So you got this great crossbody. Great condition crossbody. That's awesome. So we're going to look through here. I'm going to look through here just a little bit more. See what else they've got. Perry Ellis. And he is not kidding. He is not kidding. So here's some more right here. Oh, Rosetti. Rosetti haunts me around every corner. She haunts me around every corner. I see her in my sleep. Oh, my backpack, my Vera Bradley backpack. That's not Vera Bradley, I'm so sorry. Oh, looky here. Look at that cute little puppy dog purse. I don't think that that would sell. I don't think I could make it sell, but I might could. Might could. The sack. I like the sack wallets. I like this Jack George's crossbody. This definitely looks, the Jack George's looks like it's been loved. I mean, it's in good condition. But. I don't like it when I see a wallet that's been kind of all chewed up. Coach. A beautiful red coat. But look. Uh, smart coach right there. Oh my gosh. Sparkly. Is this a real, is this real? That's old. But I wonder if that is, um, So guys, I'm gonna take a chance on this. This is made in Greece. So this could be, if you like vintage, it can be a crossbody. It has a strap in there. This could be a iPad or a computer bag. But look at this branding. So I know nothing about it. Made expressly for Amelia Burko. I don't know who that is. And then over here it says made in Greece. So look right there. 
So we're gonna get that one just because it's different. So I don't know. I don't know if that'd sell or not. It might, it might not. And it may be too old to sell, but maybe it will, I don't know. We're gonna take a chance on it. Look at that patchwork leather purse. Why don't you guys tell me if you think it'll sell or not? I'll show you again. So it's like a vintage, um, I don't know, it's a vintage computer bag, probably. I don't know if it'll sell or not. I mean, it's $5.99. I guess I'm gonna pass on it. So guys, that's it. So follow my page, and until next video, subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you later.